Hello, this is just a quick video to look at this idea of testing for protein and the test that we usually use, which is quite reliable, quite quick and easy to do, is the Biret test for protein. Now the way we carry this out is we have our sample solution, so here I have a solution that I suspect has some protein in it. I will then collect some uh, Biret solution or Biret reagent that is often called and add an equal volume um, and then once I've done that I have the two together and after a moment or two it should turn into a mauve or lilac color if I have the presence of protein. Biret solution actually detects oops Biret solution actually detects peptide bonds and if you've watched the video on proteins then you'll know all about those. So that's a very basic and easy test, very simple, straightforward. And this is how you do it. So we've got um, to your solution add equal volume of the biot reagent. Don't worry too much about um, how you would make that. You can just uh, mention biot reagent in the exam. Observe the color change, a lilac or purple. You can say either one of those. You can even uh, probably say mauve as well indicates the presence of protein. If there's no color change, there is no protein. And that's basically the test. Very simple, very straightforward. Um, the only complication that you might have there is if you've got a solution or a test solution, if you've ground up some uh, food substance or uh, dissolved something and the color doesn't necessarily make it easy for you to see any change. So if I was to add biret solution to this or biret reagent to this, it would look like this. So it's not very clear to see uh, the, the bluey color that you might expect and then if there was protein in there and it did change to a lilac color um, you might see something like this. So while we've got the change to the lilac or the mauve color, the purple color it's quite hard to see because of the color of the actual food sample that we have so in that, in that instance it's not uh, always easy to tell. Uh, the one thing I would say here is don't get mixed up with Benedict's Benedict, uh, test because in Benedict's it's a testing not for protein but for reducing sugars and we need to have heating in between um, as well and we're looking at a slightly different test and if you were to mention heating here you probably or you possibly could uh, negate a mark or, or lose a mark for, for mentioning that but a very quick video about the uh, Biret test for protein uh, you need to know the procedure and how you get the result or what the result means okay so that's me done thank you and I'll see you soon